Hi and welcome. Here I'm going to show you three different types of Excel worksheets that you should never start from scratch. And the great thing about new versions of Excel is that we can download templates to get a jump start on almost everything. Let us begin with what you see before you. A really nice and relatively intuitive Gantt chart that's going to help you out with planning. And that's the very first type that you shouldn't start from scratch. Your planning worksheets. And to find these templates, let's go to File and new. Make sure you have an internet connection and we can go down to this little search bar right here. And all that we want to type for the first one is simply planning. Enter and it's going to search Microsoft's templates and give us a huge list of options. And what we can do is to click on any one of these to learn more about it, get a little bit of a bigger thumbnail, go through it, but then, the nice thing is, let's go for the Gantt chart that we just had right there. If you don't find what you want immediately, you can type, let's say, Gantt Planning or Gantt, and double-click this guy right here. It will automatically open it in Excel for you. We've got a new file. Let me bring it onto screen. And sometimes they give you a lot of information that tell you how to use the file. Sometimes they don't. This one, we've got a nice little About tab. We've got a light version over here, a dark version, and a colored version. So a little bit different than the light version. And if we zoom out, we can see this guy is ready to go. Add your tasks, change the category, and it's going to change over here. Now, maybe this is what you want. Or maybe you want to try one of the other Gantt charts or the other planning worksheets that we had there for the templates. The point is, this is going to get you a huge head start on your worksheets. So we can download it, take what we like, leave what we don't. Maybe you like the color scheme, maybe you like how these guys are organized or the options here. Keep that, leave everything else. Or you might just get lucky and everything works for you the first time around. So planning worksheets almost always will have some form of template already made that you can download and begin to work with. Now let's go to the second category of templates of worksheets that I say never ever start from scratch, and that is invoices. File, New, and we can go down here and type Invoice, Enter, and we have many, many options. Now most of these for something like this are going to work pretty much the same. And so what you're going to want to do is choose one that looks almost how you want it to look because that's where you're going to save a lot of time. So for me, I'm going to choose a very basic one, invoice with tax calculation. I don't need anything fancy. You can see we have a little note that explains what's going on here, a little bit of information, and that is when we select cell A1. So if I click away, it goes away, click back, and it's there. And we have a similar thing with these different sections right here. When you click them, it's going to give you some information. Now every template's going to be a little bit different, so they won't all have the little helpful tips there, but it's still going to give you a nice little jump start. So here we have an invoice. We can customize it how we like. And if we go down here and we are entering items and once we're finished here, we can hit tab automatically, input a new line and move everything else down. So we've got a nice functional little invoice that is very easy for us to get working for our needs. And if we hit Control P, I bet it'll be ready to print. Already formatted for a one page print. Perfect. These templates are really going to save you a lot of time. And now let's move to the third category, the budgets. Budgets are great. And we can type budgets down here. And let's leave it generic for now. You will see there are many, many different types of budgets. There are budgets for household expenses, for home renovations, for everything you can think of. We have a family budget planner right there, and we have many, many, many wedding planning budgets. So let us choose one of those and see what we can get. How about this guy right here? Let's click it once this time, and we can see if we like it, okay, and this time just hit create. So double click or create. And we have a nice looking well formatted a worksheet. Remember, this doesn't have to be everything. It's just going to give you a jump start. So let's say for wedding attire, 
We could input a value here, how about 900 bucks? I have a feeling it'd be a lot more. And we can see the values update. But it probably is going to be a lot more complex. So maybe we take this guy as our base. We have a little wedding budget tab right here. And we add a new tab for wedding attire. Call that attire. And we could have a bunch of information over here. I'm going to make a tiny little table real quick. But you might want to have something like all of the different vendors that you're thinking about using, different color schemes, whatever you do for weddings. I imagine it's very complex because they are not cheap. And you could have all of that information over here. So I'm just going to do something simple. Click in there, Control T to make it a table. OK. We could go to Table Design, Total Row. Now back to Wedding Budget. And set this guy equal to uh, this. Enter. And then right click a wedding attire, the link, place in this document, and click the attire worksheet. OK. And now we can very quickly navigate to that. So we can look here, $70. That seems like a weird amount. Let's go to somewhere in the workbook where we can figure out more information about it. Click the wedding attire right here. And there we go. A worksheet full of information that explains everything. So we have successfully used this template to get a head start and a nice format so that we can plan the budget. And I bet if we hit Control P, this is nicely formatted for printing. So we can print off four nice pages to look at the outrageous amount of money that we're going to spend on a wedding. And that is three types of worksheets where you should never start from scratch. Now Excel is a vast program and there's a lot that you can do here. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, I recommend you check out my full Excel courses. I'll put a link to those below this video. And if you want to see my future tutorials, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon.